Hi everybody. Thanks for joining me for today's Take 10 Tuesday. I have to let you know that today, this is sort of how I'm feeling. Um, as we move from shift brick and mortar to our online classes, courses, workshops, it's um, not an easy thing. Um, seeing all these people I've been teaching for the past 15 years in the space, um, its transitions are just difficult. And the thing about grieving is that it doesn't matter your age, it doesn't matter your skin color, it doesn't matter whether you're human or, or not, we all, we all go through it. Um, I think one of the things that I've found in Taiji and Qigong and traditional Chinese medicine is that really what is honored is that emotions are not separate from our health. And we, we have to know this by now. But when was the last time your doc asked you what was going on in your life when you came in with an, with an issue? When was the last time they looked at the big picture to try to resolve the issue instead of sending you to a specialist that, you know, would give you a prescription to just stop the symptoms? And one of the things that I love about traditional Chinese medicine and, and the theory that it was based on, which it comes from Taoism, is that it is this big picture um, and takes into consideration much more than um, looking at a symptom and trying to change that symptom. So grief um, links with the lung meridian. And in our classes, we do a lot of acupressure massage. And the lung meridian is a yin meridian. Yin is the nurturing, feminine, um, paired organ with the yang meridian, which is the large intestine. So lung and large intestine are affected by grief. But that doesn't mean that, they, again, that they're the only ones. Once you're in um, imbalance, all of the other systems, all of the other organs are generally slightly affected. And it's just the way we are. We're whole. But one of the things that I have found really helpful when I'm moving through things like grief, um, and I, many of you know that my stepdad passed away this week as well, so it's, it's moving through layers of this. Um, one of the things that I have really helped find, um, find helpful in these practices, in all of them, is this basis of breath, of breathing, and knowing that, yes, this grief is happening, but so many other things are also happening that we have to make sure that we are not swallowed up by a feeling or a situation um, that we find ourselves floating and noticing and being alive in all of the other aspects of our lives. So the lung meridian here begins at the, you know, at, at the shoulder and comes up and all the way down the arm. So the arm is affected by this, and you know that these meridians mirror each other, so there's one on both sides. Um, and it also affects the actual organ itself. So one of the places that um, I have found really lovely to massage is lung 11, which um, is known to expel wind, which is not the same kind of expelling of wind that we uh, can laugh about. But what it does is when, when there's too much wind in the body, sometimes we'll get illnesses that, um, that kind of float through that, you know, one day, one morning we'll wake up and it's in one place and then it's in another place. And 
massaging that point, which is the lower corner of the thumb thumbnail. Um, it's just right at the base of the thumb at the nail bed. Massaging that really helps to expel wind and stimulates um, the dispersing of, of lung energy or chi. So it really is a lovely massaging point to help boost chi. Um, so this is the yin meridian, but we, when you're massaging anything on a yin organ or a yin meridian, you want to go slow, deep, nurturing, because that is what yin energy is. It's very nurturing. Um, the paired organ with this is the large intestine. Now, when you need energy to move through, when you need it to their stagnation, then we work with the yang meridians. And this is the yang meridian. And you can see, I always do this. I spell intestine with a G. I don't, I don't know why I do that, but it's intestine, not intesting. <laughs> and um, it begins at the fingernail, the base of the fingernail of the um, index finger and goes all the way up the arm to the outer edge of the nostrils. And uh, a really important point to massage on the large intestine is the is LI or large intestine 4 which is at the crux of the thumb and the index finger. This is also called Hegu. This is a um, the command point for the entire head. So when we find ourselves really, you know, congested or we're finding ourselves getting a headache and you know when we're thinking a whole lot and um, up in our heads, chi will, you know, chi will go there and, and stagnate. So it's important to um, massage this point and um, get that chi moving. So this is a yang meridian. So large intestine and, and yang meridians, when you're massaging them, it's light, it's quick, um, it just kind of flows. So you're not going to squeeze deeply there. Um, and the, this actual point is um, really good to clear the body of pain, um, of pathogens, and, um, and it reduces pain along that whole meridian. So it's going to, if you have any issues that travel the, in this area, it's a really nice one to, um, to maintain. And I'm going to show you another picture of where this is located. So you can see, if you were to draw your thumb and your index finger together, there's a little line that, that comes here. Right at the end of that line, there's a little bulbous area. This becomes that bulbous area. And that's the point that you want to massage. Again, light, quick, and easy. So those are two really nice points when you're working with grief, especially if you are feeling like you're, um, you know, it's that it's uh, that it's consuming you. And again, we go always go back in our practice to noticing thoughts, noticing the emotions, noticing the physical body, rather than allowing them to control us trying not to let, let the thoughts that just randomly pop into our heads um, trigger us into creating more stories and creating more drama. We just taking a few breaths, allowing yourself some time to just notice are all incredibly strong, important practices. Thanks for joining me again. I appreciate it and hope you can work with those two points. Join me next time for our next Take 10 Tuesday, but if you're interested, we also have um, our online courses. If you wanna click on our logo, you can go visit our website or go visit our Taiji for Balance um, course, online course. And 
let me know. Hey, we also have some things you may want to sign up for. We've got um, a, um, a free Taiji for Balance movement that you may want to link to or have me uh, send to you. So check out our website and we'll talk to you next week. Take care.